Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to discuss about how to save a model to a file. So assume that uh, you have trained your model, created your model, trained it and now it is ready. And uh, somehow you need to save it to some file so that you can transfer it somewhere. The trained model you can share uh, with someone else. So uh, you need to save that model to a file. So in today's video, we are going to cover this. So let's get started with the coding part uh, directly. So for today's model, uh, for today's video, I'm going to focus on how to save a model uh, rather than uh, I'll be focusing less uh, on the other parts like uh, which data set we are using and uh, how, which model we are creating. It is uh, not that much relevant to the context of this video since we are going to uh, focus more on the saving part of a model. So let's get started. So for today's uh, video, I'm going to use SQLN library uh, SQLN library data set and I'm going to create a logistic regression model and then I'm going to save it. So that is the kind of uh, uh, structure that we are going to follow in today's video. So uh, let, get, let me get started with the coding. So from SQLN uh, import, so data sets. So yeah, so after this from SQLN import data set, data set dot uh, so we are going to use iris data set so now i have uh, now in jupyter notebook you type and you can uh, make a tab and then it will give you the auto suggestion so iris dot then you hit the tab then you will be able to see so uh, these are the options available so if you make a uh, to, you want to check feature names so uh, I have used this data set in my previous videos as well. So this is the data set uh, which is uh, with uh, uh, SQLN library and it is about iris flowers and uh, it has uh, these features like uh, sepal and sepal width, petal and petal width. So basically there are four features about, uh, about a flower and then you uh, based on those feature values you need to predict what kind of flower it is. and the if you want to take a look on the target names so target names will give you the what kind of flower it is so there uh, the value could be out of these three and if you make it uh, if you take a look at uh, iris dot target um, this will give uh, the uh, kind of uh, numerical form of these so setosa is represented by zero, where is color is represented by one and virginica is represented by two. So you would be able to see if you see, uh, you can see here zero, one and two. So this is all about, uh, this is the data which have, we have already used in our previous models as well, previous videos, lots of videos as well. So. Uh, so since this data set is already clean and already uh, we can use it directly, so I'm going to uh, create a train test split of it. So for that, I'm going to use from SQLN dot uh, what we have a model selection, model selection, and um, we have that import train test split. And uh, once we do this, train test split, we pass uh, the X and our X here is iris dot data and our Y here is iris dot target. And uh, test size we want to keep, let's say 0 0.2, 20% and it will eventually return us uh, uh, the X train uh, X test and Y train Y test. So it will return us X train, X train X test, Y train Y test. And now we can create any model. So in this case, we are going to create uh, our, 
logistic regression model so from sklearn dot model uh, we have uh, linear uh, linear model since we have it in linear model module uh, from sklearn dot linear module uh, import uh, and then logistic regression so now we can create the object of this class and it will give us the model so now our model is ready now what we can do we can do the training part model dot fit while train so it will the model will be trained and after training the model we can do the prediction part so for prediction let's say i am receiving all the predicted values into ypred model dot predict and inside this we can pass uh, our x test now if you take a look at now if you take a look at ypred then you can see that uh, now my model is trained and um, the predicted values are available in this in this variable ypred now suppose if i want to uh, save this model to a file then how i can do this so for this purpose we have a library pickle library and we have one more library joblib library that is in uh, that is with the sklearn so uh, we are going to use pickle and you can uh, use a joblib as well for that purpose i will take you through the official documentation one quick um, lookout example for that as well so let us uh, do the stuff with pickle library so for that i am just importing pickle library now after importing pickle what i can do is with open so uh, now inside this we can give uh, i can give the name and uh, the permissions i am going to write wb as f and now uh, what i can do is uh, i can use pickle dot dump so inside uh, this dump uh, what i can do i can pass my uh, model which the thing which i want to save which is basically this this object this model object and uh, i can pass the file f which is represented by as a file object so now what it will do it will uh, store this model with this name inside my current library and uh, not current library a uh, current directory i'm sorry for that i can show it to you so now uh, you must see that there must be a library uh, file with model dot pickle uh, this one here it is you can see this is the time stamp 27 march and 329 so now it has been saved uh, to a file now if i want to check i can uh, read this file back and uh, i can create the object of that uh, that uh, from that after reading that file and then i can uh, predict the same way i have uh, i have done earlier so for that what i can do is with open now inside this now this time what we are going to do we are going to uh, give the model underscore uh, the file name model underscore file name and the since this time we are going to just read it so rb as f and now what i can do is i can do pickle dot load there is a method of pickle dot load and i can pass the file object which is my f and uh, it will since it will give me uh, return me some object so i have taken it as mp uh, model pickle something like that and now with this mp object i can uh, do the prediction so if i do the prediction uh, let me uh, i can give the x test and see you can see that uh, with this object of uh, uh, the with this object i done the prediction which is same as which i have done 
with the object before saving it to a file so you can see the results are same so this way you can uh, you can save your model to a file and read it back and this thing can be used in a lot of scenarios it is really important the other way uh, which i'm going to quickly show to you is doing the uh, job lib so for that uh, we have uh, sk learn uh, job lib by example you can see and this is the model per persistence and this is the official documentation you, you can go and take a look at here so you can see that from job lib import dump and load so for dumping it, uh, you just pass the object and the file name and uh, later you can load back. You want to load it back, you just uh, call this method load and file uh, file name with the, the file name with which you have saved it and you get it back. So this is how you can uh, save your model. So it's a kind of uh, very similar to the, or you can say it is exactly the uh, serialization of your a model object so that's all for today's video um, if you want to watch more videos on machine learning then please uh, subscribe my channel i am working on the machine learning playlist till then bye bye take care